you're going to see right now with the fence in the low position why that's nice. Some of the band saws in the marketplace have the European guides and why they, they work well, one of the things is that they stick out quite far to the sides and in order to do low line work you may want to bring those guides down close to your work and if you were to have the high fence out here it would be hitting the guides and this allows you to position your fence very close since we're down low and so the low fence is nice. For the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to do a drift adjustment and I'm going to flip the fence into the high position so I'll slide it back and you're going to notice that when I do this the bandsaw works just like any other bandsaw fence does. It glides back and forth very very nice on this hard chrome steel shaft. There's a lock handle on the bottom so I can lock it in place and it won't move and yet when I went to uh, go through and address the uh, drift or to do the veneer cuts we're going to use some of the other features on it a little bit later in the video. So let's go ahead and take it from the low position to the high position. That's simply done by unlocking these two knobs on the back, sliding the extrusion off, flipping it 90 degrees, bringing it right back on, locking it down, and now we've gone to the low position to the high position, again with no tools, and now I'm going to show you how to do a drift adjustment. I'm going to bring the blade guides up a little bit on this saw so that you can see what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and raise those up. And of course I may have a few covers removed off the saw. When you're doing this at home, leave all your covers and guards in place. I'm going to bring the fence over now, close to the blade, and I'm going to grab a flat piece of scrap. In this case here, just a, a worn out piece of melamine that I have around the shop. And I'm going to bring it into the blade, and then we're going to stop the saw with the blade in the cut, and we're going to have a look and see where that drift adjustment is. This is the easiest way to adjust drift. Now I've stopped the saw and I've left the blade in the cut and what I want to do is I want to have a look at the back edge of the blade right here and I want to see if it's centered in the curve or the cut. There you go. Now from the back side you can actually see that this side is a little bit loose. You can see that there's a gap between the blade and the melamine. On the other side over here you'll notice that the melamine is right up against the edge of the blade and what that's telling me is that the fence angle is too far this direction and it's taking the wood on this side and pushing it into the back edge of the blade and this will cause you problems with the cuts. This is the reason we call it the Drift Master. On many fences you're going to have to get out here with a wrench or an Allen wrench to loosen that and adjust it. Here all we do is loosen the lock knobs and we'll grab the star wheel and you'll watch right here that as I turn the star wheel it's going to take that gap and center it. And I'm exaggerating it here just a little bit so you can actually see it move. I can actually move it enough to get uh, some movement in the blade but I'm just going to loosely center it right here and all I'm looking for is to make sure that I have about an even air gap on one side and the other. I like where that is and I simply tighten down the handles and that's as quick as you can get. And that's the reason we call it the Drift Master. You're able to set that drift angle very quickly and very effectively. Now what I'll do is I'll slide the wood out. I'm going to move the fence over just very quickly. I'll make another cut just to do a test cut. And I like what it is. I'm going to go just a little bit more on the angle. So I'll loosen that again. Just make a very quick adjustment. Slide that over a little bit more. Tighten it down. Anytime you make that adjustment, you want to slide the fence over, re-index it, and just make a quick test cut. And there we go. Now that we have the Driftmaster fin system mounted on this saw here, I'm going to show you how easy it is to mount it on a Laguna. We're going to start with the 16 HD. We're going to start by removing the fence that's on here. And this is pretty quick. We'll take the uh, extrusion off here. We're going to actually take these two bolts off. This will come off, and you'll see how quick it goes on the Laguna bandsaw.